Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this beam using strain energy method. In this beam, there are two spans, span AB and span BC. In the span AB, there is uniformly distributed load, 36 kN per meter. It is acting for the whole span. In the span BC, there is a concentrated load, 72 kN. It acts at a distance of 2 meter from the support B. Span AB is 4 meter long and its moment of inertia is 2i. Span BC is 6 meter long and its moment of inertia is i. Now let us find the degree of static indeterminacy. The number of unknown reactions and moments are 3. They are the vertical reactions Ra, Rb and Rc. The available equilibrium equations are 2. The degree of static indeterminacy will be 3 minus 2. So it will be 1. Let us keep Ra as a redundant. Now from the point A, let us take a moment about C. We have to follow right hand side rule. Clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative. Or A is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 10. So 10 or A. The uniformly distributed load is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 4. Then we have to open a bracket. We have to divide the distance by 2. Then we have to add the remaining distance which is 6. Rb is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 6. So 6 Rb. The point load 72 is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 4. After simplifying, for Rb, we will get this expression. Now let us apply this rule. For Rb, we can apply this. After simplifying, for Rc, we will get this expression. Now using the formula strain energy due to bending, we are going to find Ra. We have to make sections in this beam. Let us keep this point as a D. In this beam, there are three different parts, AP, BD and DC. So we have to make three sections. You can see that I have made three sections. In AP, I have made this section at a distance of X from A. In BD, I have made this section at a distance of X from C. In DC, I have made this section at a distance of x from c. Since there are three sections, we have to split this formula into three parts. This is for this section, this is for this section, and this is for this section. Here the limit is 0 to 4. Here the limit is 0 to 4. And here the limit is 4 to 6. The moment of inertia for AB is 2i. So for the section in AB, instead of i, we have to apply 2i. So here we will have 4ei. Now let us find M1. Ra is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is x. The uniformly distributed load is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. We know that with the UDL, we have to multiply the distance and then the distance by 2. Then let us partially differentiate M1 with respect to RA. For RA, it will be 1. In this term, there is no RA, so it will be 0. 1 into x, it will be x. Now let us find M2. We have to find M2 from the point C. Here we have to use the left hand side rule. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. Rc is acting in the anticlockwise direction 
so that it will be positive and the distance is x. Now let us partially differentiate m2 with respect to Ra. For Ra it will be 1. In this term there is no Ra so it will be 0. So we will get 2 upon 3 into x. Now let us find the m3. Rc is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is x. The point load is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. For this load we have to take this distance. This distance is x minus 4. After simplifying we will get this. When we partially differentiate M3 with respect to RA we will get this. Since in the point A there is a vertical support RA, the deflection will be 0. When we partially differentiate the strain energy U with respect to RA, we will get the deflection in the point A which is 0. Let us partially differentiate U with respect to RA. When we differentiate M1 square, we will get this. When we differentiate M2 square, we will get this. And when we partially differentiate M3 square, we will get this. We can eliminate 2 and this 2, this 2 and this 2. We can eliminate this 2 and here it will be 2. Then we can take 1 upon EI on the other side. 0 into EI, it will be 0. Then let us apply the moments and the partial differentiations. We can multiply this term with this so that we will get this. And we can multiply this term with this so that we will get this. And we can multiply this term with the x so that we will get this. Then after integrating and simplifying, we will get Ra. For Ra, we will get 52.5 kN. In the expression for Rb, which we have made already, we can apply the value of Ra. In this way, we will get Rb. And in this expression, we can apply Ra so that we will get Rc. From the point A, let us take moment about to B and to find the moment at B, Mp. Let us assume that it is a hugging moment. Ra is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 4. The UDL is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. With the UDL, we have to multiply the distance and then the distance by 2. About the span AP, MP is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive. For MP, we will get a positive value. That means our assumption is correct. MP is a hogging moment. Now we are going to draw the bending moment diagram by superposition method. For that, first we have to draw the free moment diagram. We have to consider every span as a separate simply supported beam. Then using these formulas, we can find the moments and draw these two diagrams. Then using the moment at B, we can draw the end moment diagram. Combining both of these two diagrams, we can draw the bending moment diagram by superposition method using the right hand side rule we can find the shear force values here you can see the shear force diagram in this point the shear force becomes zero in this point there will be maximum positive bending moment for AP we can make a section in this point and find the distance you can see that in that point I have made a section at a distance of x from A. We know that in this section the shear force is 0. Using right hand side rule we can find the shear force. For x we will get this. Now using the right hand side rule we can find the maximum positive bending moment. The points A and C are the simply supported ends. So the moment will be 0. Using the right hand side rule, we can find the moment at B which will be minus 78. We have already calculated that. Now let us use the left hand side rule. 
and to find the moment at D, RC is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 4. For the moment at D, we will get 45.6. This is the proper bending moment diagram. If we make this diagram upside down, that is called the bending moment diagram on the tension side. In these two points, the bending moment becomes zero. These are the points of contraflexure. We can make sections in these two points and find the distances. First, let us find the distance in the span AB. In the span AB, I have made a section at a distance of X from A. Using the right hand side rule, we can find the distance. Now let us find the distance in the span BC. I have made a section at a distance of X from C. Using the left hand side rule, we can find the distance as 4.72 meter. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching.